Nearly 30 years ago, a Bucks County community raised tens of thousands of dollars for a reward fund, and they had hoped that it would help solve the murder of two young men. Sadly, it didn't, but that money will do good in the community. Matt Petrillo has the story that you'll see here on Eyewitness News. That was very, very hard to deal with. The families of Brian Benson and Sean Campbell are still searching for answers, now almost three decades after their sons were taken from them. Well, it never goes away. It's with us every day. The men, both 20 at the time, were working together at the old West Coast Video Rental Store here in the Rosemore Shopping Center in Warminster back in 1993. They were closing up shop at the time when they were fatally stabbed. No matter what, there would never be any closure. Yeah. You don't close yeah. something like that. Speaking exclusively to Eyewitness News, Benson's parents say a reward fund was created shortly after as a way to help catch the killer. But the case is still unsolved. So now the victim's families are donating the unused reward money of more than $60,000 to the Warminster Rotary Club. We were able to find a way to help them find an organization that can handle that type of donation and put it to use immediately in the local community. One of those organizations that received part of the money is the Warminster Food Bank. It purchased this big industrial freezer that's going to allow it to offer healthier frozen foods to those in need. I wish the family would have gotten their justice and their closure based on the original intent of the fund, but um, we're very grateful. It's been a long time, but it's time for it to go back to the community the people that put it in there in the first place. Meantime, detectives are still anxious to solve this case. Anyone with information is being urged to contact Bucks County detectives. In Warminster, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.